Casey, played by Jesse Eisenberg, just can't seem to win. Attacked on the street, humiliated at his job, and even emasculated by his dog, he joins a local karate dojo, led by a crazy sensei, played by Alessandro Nivola, to learn how to defend himself. In the midst of his training, Casey becomes friendly with the female instructor, played by Emergen Poots, and soon realizes he is caught in a bizarre world of outcast, fraternal rituals, and hilarious hypermasculinity. 2019. This is The Art of Self-Defense on Blu-ray. Really enjoyed the first 30 minutes of this film, and then it becomes this crazy, chaotic, tonal, in my opinion, tonal nightmare. Jesse Eisenberg is basically mugged by a biker gang, decides to defend himself. He goes and buys a gun, but on his way home, he stops into a karate dojo and meets a sensei. And the sensei talks him out of how of having the gun, and he changes his mind on the gun, takes the gun back, and decides to enroll into some karate. So it sets up the world where the sensei is the teacher, and we get to know a little bit about the students. And Morgan Poots, she teaches kids classes, so she seems really charming, and it's all good. And then things become crazy, and takes us down this dark path where the sensei uses the student as his example, and just literally, like, breaks his arm in half. So what was a dark comedy became a even darker black comedy. And overall, I gotta say, it didn't work for me. I found the film to be more grotesque as it went on, even implied that Jesse Eisenberg's character murdered his own dog with a punch. Now, I get what they're trying to go for with this super look at masculinity, but hey, it's not Raging Bull. This is the art of self-defense, where you started out with some dark, quirky comedy, tonally, and went down this other path. I think, in my opinion, you have to pick and choose between tones here. Are you gonna commit to like the more of the quirky, and have that throughout, or you're gonna go more the dark route. So I mean, both work, but I think you can't have both together in the same film. So when the tone tone shift occurred, it threw me off, and really, and, and it kind of made this movie a disappointment because I love the cast. This Blu-ray comes with a bonus feature, an important message from Sensei, and cast and crew interviews, as well. And picture quality wise, looks fantastic, as you might. Imagine, you know, this is a recent film. I recommend this movie if you're really into, like, really dark humor and can handle a tone shift. I mean, other than that, I would say avoid it. And ultimately, for as cool as the trailers look and as cool as this cover looks, it was a disappointment. Have you guys seen The Art of Self-Defense? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. And as always, this has been Return of the Disc. I'm Dan. For more Return of the Disc, visit returnofthedisc.com. Check out the audio version of today's show, available on all major podcast platforms. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel.